Alright, at the very start of this video, check out some of these wall plants you can do. You can do some cool wall jumps and stuff to stall down there. Do your calling. <coughs> do your little dash thing. My little Egyptian dance. <laughs> it does look like an Egyptian dance, doesn't it? Okay, this is the DDD and Lucario video, and I've already wasted 30 seconds, so let's get going here. DDD's running attack is his trademark from the old Kirby games. His neutral A combo. Um, his tilts. Down tilt is really good. Oh, there's this cool crouching animation. <laughs> Down tilt is really good. Up tilt is probably his best on the ground move. Um, in terms of killing potential, it's really, really strong. Forward tilt. This doesn't combo, it just kind of knocks the guy up like that, not very good. Um, let's see. Smashes are extremely slow, but really, really powerful. I don't like down smash very much. Well, actually, that's not true. It launches the guy up and you can do something. Check out these forward smash at 65%. That was uncharged, but even charged is... Um, up smash. I don't think you should ever use up smash. Up tilt is really better. Pretty much all cases. It's faster than about the same. Uh, let's see, his throws. This is his down throw. As I'm sure you guys have seen chain throwing videos. Forward throw. <coughs> Back throw. It looks exactly like the forward throw. And his up throw. Uh, come over here. It looks like that's pretty un unavoidable once it gets started. Even at low percentage. Even at low percentage, yeah. And at the end, you can. Okay, time to show off his other stuff. Um, his aerials, his neutral air, looks kind of funny. <laughs> um, forward air is hard to hit. Kind of that weird swing. Back air is really good, kind of like a Kirby back air. And his up air and down air are really good. So probably best to like do a down, uh, down smash, and then at low percentages you can follow up with that, or even this on entry, just sort of cross up like that. Um, let's see his B moves. Neutral B is this. You can spit him out, but that's all you can do. Try breaking out of it. Um, I can't really suicide even at this high percentage if I just he kind of kind of gets out of it. There are, there are ways you can set it up, like if you try and... It's, it's definitely harder to get though, and he can break out at any percentage. Um, let's see. His side B throws a waddle B. You can only have two on the screen at once. Ooh, I threw one of those. First time I've seen that. And then the other one just disappears. Sometimes you'll get the... Uh, here, come over here so I can see their faces. No, I got them that time. There we go. Um, let's see, he's down, you can hold it, and eventually he'll start taking damage, and then you can just let it go. I don't know, I don't think it's a very good move. Um, and his up is really interesting, you've got this, if it, it hits with the stars, you can hit the guy, you can go straight up, or you can pick two directions, forward and the other way. If you hit down at any time, you can cancel it. But if you do it too close to the ground... He gets up really slowly, and that's as fast as he gets up. So, you know... That's about the extent of DDD's recovery. You have to cancel it if he just... He just dies. Um, let's see, anything else I'm missing? They, the Waddle Dee stay alive after DDD dies. 
and that's about it. All right, David can do Lucario now. Okay, so Lucario plays kind of like a cross between Snake and Mewtwo. <coughs> he has uh, some strong moves and he's reasonably paced for speed. There's neutral A. Forward tilt. Up tilt. That up tilt looks really good. Down tilt. Smash it. Smash it. This forward smash is good. It has massive range. You can see even if he hit with the very tip of that, it still does full damage. And his down smash is good for clearing. It's quite powerful. Up smash. It's alright. It's not as good as his other smashes. Uh, his throws, forward throw, down throw, it's good. Up throw, back throw. Is the up throw the one that looks like it can chain throw? Yes. But I'm I kill myself. I'm able to jump out of it, but if you don't, if you don't di or jump out of it, he gets a couple free chain throws. Um, back throw. His aerials are all good aerials, except for maybe his neutral. His neutral is forward. It's good. <coughs> his up's good. His back is good. And his best is his down, which actually stops all of his downward momentum. So you can kind of spam it out right on the off. Right yeah, on the it's kind of like a, a double jump cancel in a way. And it's like um, Ivy Swords. Uh, down air. Yeah, which also down air also stops his downward momentum. So his down air is really good. Uh, his B moves. Neutral charges up the Shadow Ball, like Mewtwo in Melee. I, I can get caught in it too. Fire it out. Yeah. Same thing. And our shield to cancer. Shield to cancel. Um, his forward move shoots a blast of energy out and you can use it in the air too but if you hit him with it on the ground it counts as a throw and you can grab him and launch him away but it only works on the ground you can't grab him as you're falling in that doesn't work uh, his down is a counter move kind of like Martha Knights but a little bit different it's kind of like Dudley's cross counter from Thirst Strike if you play that it also counters projectiles right It uh, seems to always do the, always seems to do damage proportionate to the enemy's percentage, not necessarily the strength of the move that you're countering. Although, kind of have to experiment with it a little bit more. Um, his up recovery is really good. It uh, shoots out in a line that you can control any direction, and and you can also grab the edge mid. Recovery, no problem. It just snapped on. And also, you can bend it mid recovery and do a whole bunch of. Pretty much, you have like complete control to go however you want. So, you're out here and you want to snag the ledge, you can kind of kill yourself. <laughs> if you're not careful, snatch onto it. Splinter attack. So he's a great character to play. Looks like he'll be a lot of fun. Oh, and one other thing that's important with him. The more damage he has, the stronger his moves become. So if he's at a higher percentage, he'll do more damage than if he's at a lower percentage. Especially his shadow moves. Thanks for watching.